good guys welcome back to the first take now about a week ago a little of a week we checked out the daredevil the netflix daredevil trailer part one for season two and it was beautiful it was beautiful it showed a different side of the um, punisher that we hadn't seen before so now we, they have a part two is finally dropped so I'm, I'm guessing this one's going to be concentrating more on Elektra. So I've been holding back for over the weekend not to see this. I wanted to react to it. Wasn't Didn't have an opportunity to do that. So let's do it now. Really looking forward to this. Oh, let's see. Would you believe it if I said I missed you? No. I need your help, Matthew. You're the only person I can trust. Oh, sweetheart. You don't break into my house and then talk to me about trust. You fight better than anyone I know. And I have information. The Yakuza never left. That's impossible. I drove them out of New York City. No, you didn't. They just hibernated and watched you take out all of their enemies. Now, New York is ripe for the taking. If we do this, nobody dies. Do you understand? I wonder, today's the day you're dead in your living room. There are horrible things happening in this city. But I'm done apologizing to you for who I am. This city needs me. This isn't your city anymore. My way isn't working. What if they're never The battle has begun, Matthew. There's nothing we can do but fight. Yeah. They're called the Hand. You cannot stop, but we have started. The rising is coming. Yeah, I like it, and I like what they're doing with um, Electra. It was kind of right, kind of wrong with her accent. It's, it's. She's apparently she's a French actress, and you can hear a tinge of the French. It seems to be like an English accent with a French tinge. It's an interesting mix, but I like it. It sounds nice to me. So I like what they're doing. I like the fact that you just don't think that you can trust her, and that's how Electra should be. She isn't trustworthy. You didn't really get that from um, Jennifer Garner's performance in the uh, Daredevil movies. Even though they tried to show that sort of dark side to her de depiction of um, Electra, but it just didn't really, it just wasn't really there, it wasn't Electra. This is what I always felt Electra was. It's just, you just can't trust her. The, the dark side is legitimate. You feel like she could just turn around and stab you in the back at any minute. But at the same time, you're just drawn to her. There seems to be an evolution in the costume for the Daredevil costume there. Because it seemed like the mask later on you see in the trailer looked a little different from the one we saw early on. And am I wrong in that it looked like his eyes were glowing red? Or it might have just been the reflection, the light from the street. I'm not sure. That's, that's interesting if it is. But the hands, yeah, they're finally coming. I love the way that it's building this Netflix universe, this Marvel Netflix universe. It's just so intriguing and it is... It's something I just can't wait to delve into every time a new series comes. And uh, they've hired the actor. I'm going to talk talk about it more in the second take tomorrow night when I put up that episode. But we're going to talk more on the actor that they've hired for um for Iron Fist. For now, yeah. Daredevil, bring it. I'm there. I'm going to make sure I watch it. I'm going to try binge it all in one day if I can get the day off work. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be awesome. And I should actually have that day off, so I'm even more happy. But what about you guys? Are you planning to get the day off? Are you just going to pull a sickie or do it officially and not get fired? And I'm interested to see 
how that triangle of characters, how Punisher, Daredevil, and Elektra, and how they kind of rotate and because we already know Punisher and Daredevil knock heads. We saw that in the first part one trailer that that's going to be a running. Do you think they're going to have a truce at some point? They have to. But is that going to be split again because of Elektra? Is Punisher going to end up going against Elektra? And is that going to be a thing? And is Daredevil going to have to try and get in between that? And do you think Bullseye is going to turn up in this season? Because there was rumours going into this season that they offered the role of Bullseye to Jason Staten and he kind of just pff, said no he wouldn't want to do it he doesn't want to do combat movies or some cycle on them line but if that is true then he's this is the season he should be popping up in so you think they're keeping that back that he's like this secret villain that we're going to end up seeing near the end and you think it's going to go the way of the comic books I don't really even want to say it because <clears throat> if you're not aware of the story in the comic books then it's going to be a massive spoiler well I'm hoping it's going not going to go that way because it's, I feel like it's too soon man it's too soon to go in that direction too soon but for those that know about the comics and know about what happens with Bullseye and his effect on what happens in the characters in this yeah you know what I'm talking about then yeah too soon I, I don't want that to happen to you I don't want that to happen yet maybe season three but but let me know guys write comments down below you like the video please subscribe give me a thumbs up I am at a race this has been my first take <sighs> to Marvel and Netflix is Daredevil season two part two Oh my god, I can't wait. Mmm, love people.